My name is Memo Rika Chambwa. I'm the Executive Director for the African Women Development and Communication Network, commonly known as FEMNET. All these years, there hasn't been enough recognition of the status of women as a woman. We've seen women not being respected as human beings, we have made advancement, but we still see that there's still a lot across the continent where women are not at the same level. Women's rights are not recognized. Women are not seen as equal human beings with men, as equal human beings with other citizens. So there's still a lot um, that needs to be done. We have advanced quite considerably when you look at the policies that have been developed, but when you go down and you find an African woman, an African girl all over the continent, you find that sometimes they still are not able to access the same resources, they are still not able to access the same rights, the same opportunities, they still don't have equal privileges and standing and status in society. So 23 years after Beijing, we have seen some progress. There has been some backlash, but I think we can say we are on the roll. We are on track on certain indicators and maybe not so much on certain indicators. So across Africa, Pan-Africa, one thing that brings us together is African women is the resilience that we have, the power that we have. So galvanizing, getting as many African women together, having one voice in all their diversities. We know that across the continent, we talk about Ubuntu. Ubuntu is you are, I am. And what you go through as a woman, you could be in South Africa, you could be in Morocco, Tunisia, you could be in DRC, you could be in Tanzania, you could be in West Africa, Mali. We know as African women what binds us is our Africanness. You know, we are, I'm there for you, the sisterhood, to say if you are going through this, this is something that I can stand with you, I can stand by you, and let's push together. So this is what has brought together African women to say, as African women, you know, we can do, as African women, we can fight together um, the war. The war is fighting for gender equality, fighting for equal rights, fighting, it could be for land rights, it could be for making sure uh, we have policies on ending violence against women. We have across the continent things that bring us together. And we have seen that even over the 30 years, we've been able to come together and say, we want a share in this land. Certain uh, cultural things that really set us back as women across the continent. And we know that in, those are certain barriers that we know we are, if we are, if we are joined together, we can able to fight them. If we have a policy or if we have a regional goal or a regional understanding, then that can trickle down to the country level and also um, be able to be implemented and make a difference. I stand on the shoulders and the founders of this amazing, amazing organization. You know, FEMNET has been around for 30 years. There are women who came together across the continent. It's on those shoulders, it's on their wisdom, you know, it's, it's, it's on their shoulders that I walk, that it's on their shoulders that I stand, that I lead, that, you know, I'm able to be with here. It's with the team, the secretariat. We have people who've been with FEMNET for 18 years as secretariat, they're in the background, they might not speak on there, but they push, they make sure things happen. It's on the young women, it's on the women who are following, women who dream, women who dream. You know, young women who want to fly, who want to do things, amazing things. It's on their shoulders, you know, it's pulling and saying, let's walk together. You know, let's use these new technologies. Let's use, let's tell the stories. Let's be authentic about what we do. It is right to be a woman, it is right to think the way you think. No one should ever say you are less of a human being. So I want to 
really thank you for the warm welcome. I really want to walk this walk with you. I really want to believe and to have the faith to drive and to say, yes, we can end violence against women. Yes, we can end the violations. Yes, we can smash the patriarchy, the negative attitude, those masculinities, those voices which shut us and silence us in those spaces. Yes, if we walk together in solidarity as African women, we can turn those policies into action. It's about time. You know, we have to be radical about it. We have to push. We have to push. We have to join together and say, as women, we will stand together. We will support our sisters. We will support our sisters in those places who sometimes are not even able to speak out. But because they're in those positions, we will support them regardless. The women who are profiled in the media, the women who are named the women who are shamed, the women who are not recognized or who are given all the names, we are going to support, we are going to be pulling all the women in their diversity, no matter the age, no matter what it is, it's about time. We say to African women, we are coming after you. And I'm here as memory, I'm here to walk with you with a journey, I'm here to be with you and to support you and to also get your support and let's do it.